basketball playing twins and some Olympic history. It takes two as a game of guessing numbers. And the strange and unusual things you'll see here today are clues to the answers to our questions. You can play along with our couples. See how well you can do on It Takes Two. And I'm sure you recognize the man at the piano as Bowser of Shanana fame. Hello once again. Obviously, Bowser is an accomplished classical pianist. He was kind enough to give us the lead to our first question in couples. Here it is. When Bowser was playing Chopin's Minute Waltz, how many notes did he actually play? These are the couples we're playing today. And if you will separate, write down your answers. You're going to answer that question independently. You're going to average the couple's answers together. And the couple whose answer comes closest to the correct answer, whether it's higher or lower, uh, wins. John and I will see you in just a moment. John, step this way. Speaking of the answer. Well, who could count and play at the same time? How long have you been? What are you up to now? Um, now I'm doing Bowser's Rock and Roll Party. That stuff that you and I love. The stuff that you started. Hey, all right. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of shows. I got a great group, Bowser and the Stingrays. Three, three wonderful singer dancers with me. And uh, we do a lot of shows all over the country and all over the world. <laughs> Notice how he takes a cue. <laughs> the moment I saw you done, my life flashed before my eyes. But I asked our three teams who were playing classical music. How many notes Bowser played while he was playing the Minute Waltz? Our team members have written down their answers, and we're going to average them up here and get them right now. Jennifer and Michael, our friends, uh, what, what is your job, Jennifer? Well, I'm an account executive. I'm also a wildcat artist, and I'm an actress. What do you do, Michael? <laughs> I'm an actor, a writer, and I'm in post-production. Many talents. Jennifer, what do you know about the Minute Waltz? How many notes did he play? Oh, my gosh. Well, I said 200. I'm a singer, so I was trying to figure out all the bars and everything. All right, Michael, what would you figure? 110, I figured so many notes per frame and just counted a bunch of frames. I'll average them up to 155. Now, Hannah and Jerry have been married for, what, 10, uh, 10 years or more? 10 years. Do you always agree? Just when it's important. <laughs> no, today is important. <laughs> you got Hannah, it. What did you say for numbers of notes? I said 40 because um, I don't know a lot about music. I, I haven't had classical training, but it just felt trying to picture what he did. Okay, Jerry, I would have thought it was more. What'd you say? I said 248 because I sensed three-quarter time. My original thought was 360. All right. 144 is the average. They're very close. I don't know what... reasoning counted? No, never, 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 Bowser, never. Matthew and Maria are cousins. Have you? You've known each other all your lives, obviously. Do you think alike? Yes, pretty much. She said. Matthew, what did you say? Numbers of notes. I said 135. And what did you say, Maria? I said a hundred, because I, I'm just guessing. Okay, well, I said, you and I are in the same boat. You said 118. Let me review quickly. 155, 144, 118. Bowser, the answer, please. I'm hand just going to verify. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay. Don't, okay. Look. Don't, don't, don't look. You take it. The answer is 291. Yes! 291, Jennifer and Michael, pick up a hundred dollars. Tana and Jerry get seventy-five dollars. Bowser will see you in a little bit. So many notes. Come back. So, so many so notes. Many so little time. Remember the team that's very just on the right on the nose. You're going to hear this. And when they do, they win a special prize. Burton, tell them about it. It's the Yamaha Wave Runner 3. The best-selling three packages of watercraft. Quality and reliability add up to fun for everybody. Nothing else is a Wave Runner. Yamaha. All compliments up. It takes two. 
right, recapping business, Jennifer and Michael ahead with $100, Hannah and Jerry at $75, and Matthew and Maria. It's unimportant at this point. You get a lot of chance to catch up. Now, the winning team takes home their money and will have a chance to play the brain teaser finale where they could win the grand prize. Now, our next guest, a very popular member of the Family Channel family. He's the very talented host of Shopping Spree, and as you probably already know, he's a superb juggler. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ron Pearson. He does amazing things. Easy does it, big boy. I can't believe it. How long have you been, been juggling? Oh, I've been juggling now. Uh, 21 years now. You know, I see Shopping Spree and all that. What's the most difficult merchandise you, you do your thing with? Oh, gee, what, the great thing about the end of our show, uh, we have all these things up on the prize board. Yeah. And so I can pull off, I pull off bowling balls, bowling pins. You uh, juggle bowling balls? Bowling balls, yes. I tell you, as a man of many talents, would you give me a sample of something that's perhaps easier than bowling balls? Something that's easier than bowling balls? Yeah. Um, I brought today... Just brought, so happen uh, to have them with you. I brought ping pong balls. Yeah. Maybe uh, it'd be easier to juggle like this, but I'm going to go ahead and try and juggle them out of my mouth. Let me see what you do. Okay. Here you go. Go go ahead. Enjoy. I want to ask you about your childhood. <laughs> Did you ever have ambitions of doing anything else? <laughs> oh, no, go, go ahead. Ron, do your, do your number with the ping pong balls in our proctor is standing by couples. This is the premise of our next question here. I want you to predict how many times Ron will juggle and catch the ping pong balls with his mouth for the next two and a half minutes, which includes our commercial. And he's doing it. Go right ahead there. And our proctor is counting. Couples, you can write down your answers, separate and do that. As Ron continues to juggle the ping pong balls, we're going to take this short break. Look at that. Sunday afternoon at four, they were sentenced to life on Devil's Island. Every convict on this ship. That's fascinating, eh? Welcome back to It Takes Two. Ron, stop now. Catch your breath. Bing, bang. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Good enough. For you. you want you want to take one last shot and show one me? One last this. shot. I'm going to do it. You got to watch this. This is the winner. Now watch and stop. Ah. Oh. Uh. Extraordinary. Now, let's see which of our couple's critics has came the closest reaction number of times Ron juggled the balls in his mouth here, and the number it's worth $100 and $200 is the number one prize. Jennifer, what did you think you did there? Well, I was trying to keep track. It wasn't easy, but I said 55. Michael, your answer was? I said 145, about one per second. On the average is 100. Hannah? I said 90. It's been like he had a real quick beat going. That's what it would be. You, you're just going along with it. Jerry? I said 38. I put in a tolerance for hiccups. Yeah, well, man, this is a strange trick. I don't know how you learn the 64 is the average. Uh, Matt, uh, please give me your answer, Matthew. I said 65, mainly because that was a lot of huffing and puffing going on. You bet your life. Maria, did you agree? Well, I did, but I said 45 because I, be I believe it's between popping the ball that he had to take a breather. So. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, it's 55. Let me add them up here or at least run them down. 100, 64, and 55. You have the answer, sir. In I your, have the answer. In your hot it little. It had a good beat. It the, was easy to dance. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ron. I give it. I give it a 163. High number belongs to Jeff, Jennifer, and Michael. You've won $200. A runoff comic, Jerry, $100. Ron, thank you ever so much. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Ron Pearson, ladies and gentlemen, from Shopping Free. Welcome, sir. Now, recapping our scores. Jennifer and Michael have 300. Hannah and Jerry have 175. Matthew and Maria, now is the time to do some catching up. That's the recap. And I'm going to move on to one, the next subject here. I wonder. It just occurred to me, is there a thing going on outside I want to go to? Because there are a lot of ways to say two. For instance, you could say deuce. You could say doubles. You could say duet. You could say twins. First, we have the first twins. And I want you to meet our next two guests. Paula and Mindy Shapiro. These are a pair of twins that do something rather unusual. Curious why these women have selected this particular hobby. Ladies, you're shooting baskets, and uh, I know there are a lot of female basketball players, but how did twins decide to do this? Um, well, we do a lot of acting, and we've been doing ESPN commercials, and I think you guys thought that, hey, we're promoting a sports channel, let's see if we can shoot some baskets. Who's the better player? I... Uh, <laughs> 
I'd like to say I am, but she's going to say she is, though. So. All right, let me see a little game of one-on-one -on -one here. Would you do this on this? Let's follow your progress here. Couples, here's your question. How many points will our twins rack up on a one-on-one -on -one game and they'll play during the rest of our show? And each basket is worth two points. Later on in the show, I'll ask you to write down your answers, and uh, we'll follow the progress here and check in with you right after this word. They made it. Welcome back to It Takes Two. Before we go any further, let's check in with uh, Paul and Mindy, see how they're doing. Didn't get that one. All right, they're doing pretty well, pretty well. All uh, right, let's see if we can get another Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh. America's right. Gold, silver, and bronze in Atlanta. Oh, there you are, my boy. Five cents for your trouble. Thanks, Mr. Clark. Yeah. Now I can go to college. You're my <laughs> best customer. <laughs> hey, I'm your best customer. Who else buys old newspapers? America, America strikes gold, silver, and bronze in Atlanta. All right, now it says there, in the summer of 1996, Atlanta, Georgia played host to 197 nations. So you couples, pay attention now. Question is coming up. How many athletes from these nations were entered in the 1996 Summer Games? Separate. Write down your answers. The team that's closest to the number of athletes will win $300. The runner-up will get half that, $150. And the question, of course, is how many athletes from the 19, what is it, 197 nations who entered the Summer Games? They're there in Atlanta. They're doing a lot of figuring over there, a lot of concentration going on. Got a call time, Michael, Hannah, Jerry, Matthew, Maria? Into the slots. Here we go. Jennifer, how many athletes did you say? Oh, boy. I said 35. I love the Olympics. 35? Yeah. Did you see that ceremony with all those people? Yeah. I know. Well, you may love athletes, but math <laughs> isn't your strong suit, Jennifer. No, it's not. M Michael, how many did you say? 8,000. Oh, all right. Yeah, you saw you a lot more. This is going to be kind of interesting. It averages out to 4,018. So somewhere in there, there may be an answer. Hannah? I said 250,000. When I watch the opening ceremonies, they just keep marching and marching. I, I, uh, I think you're a little on the high side there, huh? I want to see what your husband said. Jerry, 5,800, that is. 5,800. 1,000. 127,900 is the end. Boy, have we got a diversity of answers this time. They're all over the place. Uh, Matthew, how many athletes did we have down there? I said 350. Right. And I was trying to figure the events and the athletes, and that's what I came up with. All right, but I think uh, it's something confusing to us. Well, did I say there was 197 countries involved? Mm -hmm. Maria, what'd you say? I said 150. So one country, seven countries didn't send anybody at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid you're a little off on it. 250, the average over here for Jennifer and Michael is 4,018, 127,900. Matthew and Maria, uh, 250. The answer is buried in here somewhere. Here it is. All right. Number of athletes in the 1996 uh, Olympic Games was 10,788. Jennifer and Michael were off, but they had the high score of $300 plus $150 going to Matthew and Maria, believe it or not. I can't believe that they came in second with 250. <laughs> I'm, I'm stunned. In any case, you pick up $150. Look what it does to the score, however. $600 to Jennifer and Michael. Hannah and Jerry at $175. Matthew and Maria at $150. A couple of years, your second question. This time, this is really put your mind to work now. This is worth $400 and $200. In the 1996 Summer Games, the world's Olympic athletes competed in 30, 30 major events. When the competition was over, how many gold medals did American athletes bring home? How many medals did American athletes bring home? Write down the answer, put it in the slot there, and uh, I will ask you to respond momentarily. We've got a couple of people still writing, Matthew and Maria, if you will. Jennifer and Michael are ready to go. Time is up, and away we go. Jennifer, how many medals did the American athletes win? I said ten. Nine. Gold medals. Gold medals, yes. Americans won 10. Yes. Michael? <laughs> I said 14. All right, you both Wishful agree. Thinking. Somewhat. All right, the average is 12. Hannah, how many gold medals for I the Americans? I thought they got 125. Well, that's a lot of gold, Jerry. I said 18. Yeah, that, that's uh, going to round up to something rather interesting. 72 is the average there. Now, now, this is the couple I'm watching very carefully. <laughs> Keep in mind, these people are cousins. They've known each other a long time. They always sort of agree, sometimes. Matthew? 
I came with a whopping 550. That's a lot of gold, my friend. Mariah? Uh, Mariah? Maria. Maria. I said Maria. 160. 160? Two, uh, 335. Well, you did well last time with that. Uh, you know, let's see what we got here. The U.S. gold medals were 44. <laughs> Hannah and Jerry come closer. Jennifer and Michael are second. The winner picks up $400. The other folks get $200. The recap, Jennifer and Michael are friends with $800. Hannah and Jerry have $575. Matthew and Maria have $150. And we'll be back to find out who wins our game and go to the brain teaser finale right now. The twins are still out there playing basketball. Yeah, let's see if they drop this one in, and we'll be back right after this word. On the next, It Takes Two. Plus, Vicki Lawrence gets domestic. Really, I'm not just a Hollywood bimbo. And did you ever wonder what's under a sheep's wool? Hello, It Takes Two. The Family Channel's all-new game show. Monday at 4. It Takes Two. Hey, very good. Now, welcome back to It Takes Two. Trying to find out how many points our twins scored in the one-on-one -on -one basketball game. Ladies, take one last shot. One last shot. Let this be it. Shoot it, and they didn't make that one. All right, stop playing right now. Paula and Mindy were playing one-on-one -on -one for 12 minutes out there, and the teams, if you will, now separate. Write down the number of points the Twins scored. The team that comes closest to the correct number of points wins $1,000, and quite possibly the game while they're writing. Let me review. Jennifer and Michael have $800. Hannah and Jerry have $575. Matthew and Mariah have $100. Maria, I beg your pardon, Maria. $150. If they get $1,000, it would look like they would win. However, look at this. Jennifer and Michael could win with second place money. So let's see what happens here. Jennifer, what do you say? Well, I said 26. I figure one basket a minute, to give or take a few. And they were missing a lot, I noticed, every yeah. time we peeked in on them. I'm, I don't know. Michael, what do you say? Um, I thought they were better than that. I gave them a 60. All right. Let's uh, put it up there as an average, 43. Hannah, what was your guess? I said 90. 90? All right. I they would be good, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Jerry? I said 68. I thought they were pretty sharp, not as optimistic as Hannah did, though. All right, so you've averaged out at 79. Now, Matthew and Maria, this is the chance for you to pull this game out of the cold. What do you say? I said 24. I like the arch on a jump shot. Oh. <laughs> You're watching their form. Points, Matthew, points. Uh, Maria, what did you say? I said 60. I thought they played pretty good. All right. We average out to 42. Now, it's pretty close all around. Jennifer and Michael have said 43. Hannah and Jerry, 79. Matthew and Maria, 42. Let's go for the answer from the ladies outside. Twins, do you have that answer for me? How many points did you score? 92. All right. There it is. Hannah and Jerry have $1,575. Congratulations to you. Thanks to Paula and Mindy Shapiro, and uh, we'll go to the brain teaser bonus round right now. They've already been given a little bit of a hint of what's to come. All they got to do now is come close to the correct answer. As a matter of fact, about 25% if they do, and they can win this prize. Burton, a holiday in tropical Puerto Rico. Enjoy a week-long vacation at the Radisson Normandy Hotel, minutes away from Bow Bowl and New San Juan. It's the perfect spot for shopping, dining, and relaxing in this island paradise. The Radisson Normandy Hotel. And Carnival Airlines will get you there on their spacious, comfortable aircraft. Experience the high standards of service and dedication to quality from Carnival Airlines, flying at a higher level. All compliments of It Takes Two. Oh, you remember at the beginning of our show, Bowser played a portion of the minute waltz, and when he stopped, he had played 291 notes. He didn't play the whole thing, but he gave us a finale, sort of a finish. Now, your question is, how many notes were left unplayed? How many notes were left unplayed? Hannah, you can just take a guess out. 160. 160, you say. Jerry, what do you say? I say 300. Wait, wait, Jerry, let me help you. Yes. Well, you're, about, you're headed in the right Thank direction you. already. You said 160. 160, that's low, and you're about to say 300 and something. 314. All right, so you've, you've sort of compromised there. Came up right. to 237, and as soon as I have the answer, Bowser will deliver it to me. No, he won't. I'll deliver it to you, Bowser. I'll tell you the truth. 
the number, if it's within 25% of the number on this card, between 37 and 437, you'll win the bonus. You're a little bit off, but you have won a lot of prizes, about which Burton will tell you right now. Burton, what did they win? Well, congratulations to Hannah and Jerry, who won $1,575 in cash and Ashley's five-piece entertainment wall system. Designed in a smart, contemporary look and styled in a high-gloss finish of white mint. World-class furniture from Ashley. And expect high-performance surround sound quality from this Magnavox home audio theater system with separate subwoofer, six-speaker sound system, and universal remote control from Magnavox. Smart. Very smart. All compliments of It Takes Two. Thank you, Ben. Remember, it takes all of you to play Take Two. We'll see you the next time for now. Dick Clark. So long. Self-timer, build an auto flash, auto shut off, and tripod socket from Keystone Camera Corporation. All compliments of It Takes Two. Dick Clark's wardrobe furnished by Burt Kulitzer Collector's Edition. This is Burton Richardson speaking. This Sunday morning at 11, it's the vacation of a lifetime for America's favorite family until their road trip takes a wrong turn. Chevy Chase and Beverly D'Angelo star in National Lampoon's Vacation, Sunday on the Family Channel.